The World's End is about a bunch of guys who re-enact a pub crawl that they went on when they finished their A-levels. They just got out of school. And they go back, and they're all in their 40s, and they go back on this pub crawl. And um, things don't go quite according to plan. And uh, something strange has happened to the, uh, their hometown, and they're fighting for their lives. And it's really a film about midlife crisis, but um, these guys who are going through a midlife crisis are put in, in extraordinary circumstances, and that's where the comedy comes from. Edgar, Simon and Nick and Naira who produces it, they make very good films and it's a kind of film that I've never done before so I wanted to be involved in it and also we all know each other so it was like do you want to come and spend four months hanging out making a film so it was a combination of the people I thought it was a very clever script, very funny there's a great craft and a, and a kind of dexterity that's required of actors when you do this and there's a kind of choreography with the timing and all that which I appreciate as, as a craft really and I wanted to work with people who I think were very good at it and learn from them. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it. He's very exact, works very hard, he knows exactly what he wants and he won't, um, he'll do as many takes as he wants until he gets what he needs. But his incredible mind, the way he shapes things and, 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 and plans things out, he's got it all in his head. It's an incredible discipline he has and an ability. I play Peter, who is kind of, uh, he's the wallflower of the group. He's the one who could never really pull the girls and, 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 and just was a member of the gang because his old man was minted and they could all go in his swimming pool. And he feels kind of on the peripheries of the gang. He wants to belong, but it doesn't quite fit in. Uh, he's, he's, uh, he's been bullied, so he's a victim of bullying. And he still lacks self-esteem and, and self-confidence. It's funny that when all these characters get together, essentially they're still the same people they were when they were 16 and 17. So that's what Peter has to overcome. He has to find himself and find his self-esteem and find his courage throughout the story. <laughs>